systems are much stronger at changing behavior than in just ideas, right? Um, and, and another concept I want to go into, which is, I think, important to understand uh, systems. I kind of hinted at it earlier, but basically the word violence has been abused <laughs> over the years. So if you look at the entomology, you can go all the way back to the Greeks. And the Greeks defined violence as as uh, violare, violare. Um, I'm sure I'm murdering that, that, that pronunciation. But the idea is, is basically the, the definition that they had was to violate, right? It, it meant it encompassed this broad spectrum of verbal abuse, um, physical abuse, so, you know, direct physical violence, uh, it, you know, freedom, all these other concepts, because it, it was to violate. And if you understand that basic comp, comp uh, that basic idea of if you violate someone, you're doing, you're doing one of three things. You're either stealing from one's past, which is their wealth, right? The ability to accumulate resources to, to ensure their survival, right? That's, that's all money is. That's all wealth is. You're stealing from their present, which is their freedom, their ability to, you know, discuss ideas in public, their ability to conduct trade, their ability to, you know, build a business. So all these other nonviolent ways of collaborating with other human beings and making everyone else's life better or everyone's life better, right? Yours and everyone else's. And, 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 and or theft of the future, right? So they're stealing your life. They're, you know, uh, indebting our children. You know, all these other stuff. So like, uh, there's, it's one of these three basic constructs. Either everything that is violence is a theft of one's past, their present, or their future, right? And, and the Greeks understood this. And this is, it, it's, it's lost to time because it, it's not, it's not beneficial to the people who run the system today of government to basically have everyone have a dialogue that includes words that actually make sense. So now violence has become nothing but physical interaction in a negative way, supposedly. I mean, like like a lot of people consider boxing violence. It's not violence. Two combatants or more chose to enter the ring together to test their skills or potentially you know, showcase their skills. And that's voluntary. It's a choice, right? So nothing voluntary can ever be violence. And so, but we've changed the words. So now everyone's confused and no one knows what the hell anyone's talking about. And, and then and everybody's afraid to use the word violence because they're like, Oh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's just an emotional word and it has no meaning. Like, and it drives me nuts, right? It drives me nuts. It's one of the, why the key principles of philosophy is the understanding of words and why that's so impactful. Because if you can't have a common word or language or dialogue, then no one will ever understand each other anyway. And that's that's really the goal of the system today, right, is to make sure we don't understand each other, we can't collaborate with each other, and there's no unity. <laughs> because if you can keep the if you keep the the cattle kind of segregated into their own different herds or potentially hate each other or whatever else or fight each other, um then <laughs> then they don't have to do as much work to keep us under control.